Hi, I'm Bob Emery, and I'm the Radiation Safety Officer for the University of Texas Health Science Center at Houston. Since we're a comprehensive health science center, we have this unique perspective in that we're evolved from what's called the bench top to the bedside, where we actually have scientists that are working on the bench top, examining different issues, and when discoveries are made, those can actually be moved all the way to the clinical applications where we can actually apply these to improve the health status of individuals. The use of radioactive materials in this work is very important because radioactive materials allow scientists the unique ability to actually follow biological systems at the atomic level, and that's a very unique capability that other procedures don't allow us to do. The ability to use radioactive materials allows the scientists to actually see things occur at the atomic level and actually see how they move through biological systems, and that's a very important capability to possess. Radioactive materials are also used for examining issues such as cardiovascular disease, neurodegenerative disorders, and diabetes. So a wide variety of diseases are being examined here at the Health Science Center with the use of radioactive material. There's no doubt that the major advances that have been made in medicine in the past 50 years have certainly been aided by the use of radioactive materials. And uh, we certainly want to be able to continue with that sort of progress in the future as well. So inherent to this clinical research work with the use of radioactive materials would be the generation of some waste materials. But these waste materials are things such as uh, rubber gloves and plastic tubing and glassware that's become contaminated because it was in contact with the radioactive materials. So once these materials are generated, our folks will go and assist the, the laboratory or clinician personnel by collecting that waste and bring it down to our dedicated processing room. The materials are then examined and evaluated and then placed into various processing containers, specialized containers, where then they will be encapsulated. After the waste is collected, our radiation safety specialists will actually monitor that waste to verify the radioactive content that has been entered on the label by the clinician or the laboratory personnel. And that's important because we have to make sure we know how much radioactivity is going into that drum or that container. So once these drums are filled, we seal them up and put certain labels on them. And then historically, we would ship these waste for permanent disposal to a facility in South Carolina. But as of July 1st, 2008, we are no longer able to ship waste to that facility. And so these drums are actually being stored on site. Certainly safety and security is our top priority, like anyone else who uses radioactive materials as part of their activities. Uh, but our Health Science Center was never designed or intended to be a long-term radioactive waste storage facility. And so although I can assure individuals that the wastes are secure and, and safe now, as this process continues, uh, there is great concern that we need a permanent disposal facility for these wastes in order to accommodate the research and clinical activities that will be coming down the pike. Certainly the issues that we're facing here with waste disposal are not limited to us. The entire Texas Medical Center is facing the same problem and it's not limited to the Texas Medical Center. Any modern biomedical research or clinical care facility has the same concerns because radioactive material is so important to the core missions of these organizations that they certainly share my concerns that, that we have to have a safe and permanent long-term solution to this issue. I think the more the public begins to understand what these wastes truly consist of, I think there are many misperceptions about what the waste really looks like. But when they begin to understand that the waste, by and large, are dry, solid materials, and there are many layers of protections put around these uh, materials before they are uh, placed into a facility, uh, I think through improved public understanding, they'll begin to realize that, in fact, this can be a very viable solution for this disposal problem particularly in an era where we have to be not only concerned about safety, but now security is a big issue because post 9-11, the issues about security with regard to radioactive materials have been heightened. So it makes a lot more sense, in my opinion, for any radioactive materials and radioactive waste to be assembled in a singular place that was designed with both security and safety in mind from the beginning. These buildings at the Health Science Center were designed to do teaching, research, and service. They were not intended to be long-term radioactive waste storage facilities.